know, we are actually very happy because of this policy that has just been announced by the Delhi government. And uh, what is very notable about the electric vehicle policy just announced is that it is setting an ambition at a time when there's so much uncertainty in the market because of the pandemic. But despite the uncertainties, government has gone ahead and notified this policy, which is a very important step to be taken right now, especially keeping in mind that Delhi is battling a very serious pollution battle. And anything that we can do to make our vehicles zero emission to reduce toxic exposure, that's going to give enormous health benefit. So from that perspective, when we are looking at the level of ambition that this policy has set, so imagine by 2024, just in the next three years, we are aiming at 25% electrification of new vehicle fleet. Now, that is ambitious, keeping in mind the fact that at this moment, currently, and if you look at the Vahan database of the Ministry of Road Transport and Highways, then electric vehicles are just about 3% of the new vehicle fleet. Overall, it would be perhaps about 0.2%. So from this level, and when you have such a low base number, from there to scale it up to 25% in three years is really a daunting challenge. And also keep in mind that during the pandemic, not only the overall vehicle sales have come down, but nationally, electric vehicle sales dropped by about 94%. In Delhi, about 89%. Now, it has started to recover. Nationally, the recovery, even after recovery, which is also seven-fold increase during July, August period, but even then, it's 50% below the pre-pandemic level. But the good thing is, now, because you have notified the policy, it kind of gives it a legal backing. So it gives you that teeth to push for. This policy, which is one of the better framed policy, if you look at it, is quite comprehensive in the sense that it has got vehicle segment wise incentives, it's got provision for public charging infrastructure. It is even talking about polluter pay principle to increase the road tax and impose congestion tax on the internal combustion engine powered vehicles so that you can mobilize funds and which will not only mobilize funds, this will also act as an active disincentive for IC engine. You know, one very good element of the electric vehicle program, just not in Delhi, but nationally, and as you know that at the national level, we have the frame two incentives at place right now. And the very conscious, explicit decision that has been taken to link our electric vehicle program with electric mobility. Link, so it's a win-win strategy that a public transport on zero emissions. So the frame incentive, which is the, and the time and the, that's the duration of that is until 2022. So we have hoped that all that has been planned under frame two to support bus transport, electric bus transport in all cities of India, that must also remain on track. In addition to that, the Delhi program has also provided for the electric bus program. So therefore, it's an additionality today. So anyone buying an electric vehicle or a bus in Delhi today actually enjoys both the incentives. So in any case, we are looking at this program to prioritize the most polluting segment on the road, which is two wheelers and uh, which is happening. The incentives are available both under frame program as well as daily policy. At the same time, they are also looking at the three wheelers and which is very important part of the paratransit and, uh, and part of the mass movement. So um, this approach is very good that India has taken overall. It is not focused on personal mobility. It is more focused on um, uh, the, the public transport, making that zero emission, both public transport, paratransit, and the most polluting personal vehicle segment, which is two-wheeler. So that way, the design of the program is fine. Now we need to take this forward and 
car market will automatically change. We know there's a lot of latent dormant demand for electric cars today, but it's not getting translated into real demand because of the infrastructure constraint, the charge. The moment you do that, the moment you make your buildings ready for charging, the moment you give public charging and the incentives that even the car makers can give, all of that can come together to stimulate that. So these are all very good elements in the policy and that must happen. But that also means that right now, as of today, you have to set the clear milestones for each of these elements. Imagine the fiscal strategy, the fiscal reform that you need right away to increase the road tax, impose a congestion charging, or, the, or to make your buildings charging ready, to uh, do all the procurement, to have at least one charging station within three kilometers of where you live. But that's the kind of ambition we are talking about. So that's the planning that we really need to do. The other part of the point is that, you know, the whole EV transition, okay, it, you require incentive, but only incentive is not good enough. You also do not have very active disincentive for the um, regular IC engines. And globally, we have seen that the other countries are today, like in China, they've just banned the IC motorcycles. Or the European cities today, they are setting deadlines to phase out IC engines altogether. So you have to work with both the incentive and the disincentive. But one good thing about the Delhi program is, and why we are excited, is that even though it's Delhi program, but it can also have a big national spin-off. Given the size of the Delhi vehicle market, it is the ninth largest among all states of India. And if you take only cities of India, then Delhi is the top market. Given this size, it has that gravity to pull the market in a way. So if you have this kind of ambition in this market, this is going to create the bottom-up pressure. And the automobile industry, the electric vehicle industry will have to respond now. And they will have to diversify their product portfolio because meeting consumer expectation is a very critical element of this program. And therefore, we are hoping that we will see that change. And finally, the point is that what is happening in Delhi is pretty consistent with the global trend, and that's what we are happy about. Despite the pandemic, despite the economic slowdown globally, we are finding that the major vehicle markets, like take the European Union, for instance, they have not they have not got detracted. They have not strayed away from the path of supporting electric vehicle program with regulations, with incentives, to the extent that today, despite the slowdown in IC engine sales in Europe, the EV sales have remained robust and EVs are already 10% of the market. So that's where we need to go. So it's a good start, brings a lot of optimism right now. Delhi has seen the CNG transition. Delhi now needs to zero emission transition. But we have to do this seriously and make it happen, make the ambition a reality.